Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, Falco Holsters. This is Robbie with Review This Thing, and like a lot of people, I'm always on the search for the perfect concealed carry holster. A couple of years ago, we met the folks over at Falco, and we really liked the look of their holsters. They sent us over a few to try out. I've been testing them in all kinds of different scenarios, and now we're going to tell you what we think. We post at least one of these reviews each week on Sundays. So if you really like what we're doing, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. But what you really want to hear about now are these Falco holsters. So let's review this thing. You guys know we're going to go through the facts. First up is fit. Falco has a ton of different holsters, but I'm going to tell you about the two I've been using and how they fit. First, how does the gun fit the holster? I have the A105 Falcon for my Glock 43X and the A907 for my SIG P365XL. The A105 probably has one of the best gun to holster fits of any of the holsters I've used. After just wrapping it in some plaster crap and leaving it for a couple days, the holster fits the gun perfectly. It's very snug to the point where it won't fall out, but not so snug that it's difficult to draw. And the A105 can be made with or without cuts for a red dot. I knew I was gonna use a red dot, but if you don't, just know you can order it that way. The A907 has a good gun to holster fit, but it's not quite as snug as the A105. It does still hold it securely though, especially when you're wearing it because it tightens up a little bit against your body. Plus, I'll tell you that the first A907 that they sent didn't have good retention at all. I talked with their customer service, which is excellent by the way, and they sent me a new one right away. And again, this one's easy to draw and it's cut for a red dot. The next thing, is how does the holster fit while I'm actually wearing it? We aren't gonna get into the best ways to carry or the drawbacks and benefits to each of those, but I prefer to carry in the small of my back. To do that, the A105 is an inside the waistband right-handed carry with a cant, and the A907 is an inside the waistband left-handed without a cant. The A105 Falcon is definitely one of the most comfortable holsters I've worn. It's small enough that it's not bulky and doesn't put a lot of pressure against my back whenever I'm carrying it. I hardly feel it when I'm walking, and even though I can feel it whenever I sit down, it's not so big that it's uncomfortable. It also conceals very well, so there's very little printing whenever I wear it. The A907 isn't quite as comfortable, but that's probably just because it's a little bit bigger, wider, and it's made out of Kydex, which is a harder material. I don't really notice it a lot while I'm walking, but whenever I sit down, you can definitely feel it pressing against my back. The gun is gonna fit in the holster, that's how it's designed. And as for wearing it, I would give fit on the A105 a 5.0 and fit on the A907 a 4.8. So all together, we're gonna give fit a 4.9 out of five. Now are the Falco holsters as advertised. The first thing they advertise is that they have a holster for every gun. Because these are semi-custom to custom holsters, they can make it to fit any gun you have. You just go on their website, select the holster finder, choose your gun make, model, barrel length, and caliber, and it gives you all the holster options they have available. I didn't count, but according to Falco, they have over 500 designs that can fit over 2,000 models of pistols and 900 different revolvers. Plus, they can even make a fully custom holster if you can't seem to find one that'll fit your gun. The next thing they advertise is a custom holster in 10 days. We did place an order on the website. Now there was some sort of hold up as it was coming through customs, it looked like with the tracking and stuff, but it was delivered within 12 total days and eight business days. If you've ordered from the Falco website, comment below and let us know how long it took to get yours. Based on our experience and not having any trouble whatsoever finding a holster to fit the guns we wanted it to fit, we're gonna give as advertised, a five out of five. And now on the construction and durability. First, they have holsters for every type of carry. Inside the waistband, outside the waistband, smaller back, cross draw, appendix, belly band, shoulder, leg, or even ankle carry. So you should be able to find one that you like. They also have holsters in a variety of materials. This A105 Falcon is made completely of leather, except the belt clip and this A907 is a hybrid between leather and kydex. They also have fully kydex, nylon, and even carbon fiber. So you have plenty of materials to choose from. And if you're not sure which one you want, 
They have a lot of information on their website to help you decide. And like I mentioned earlier, customer service is excellent. So don't hesitate to reach out. Now, as far as the quality of the construction, on my holsters, I feel like the craftsmanship is a very high quality. The leather and kydex are great materials and the stitching has also held up well through all of my use. The leather is firm enough to feel sturdy and really feel like it's gonna protect these guns, but also soft enough that it's comfortable to carry. I've worn them, sweated in them, and they've held up, look almost like the day I got them. If you do have any issues, they have a lifetime guarantee. Because of these things, I'm gonna give construction and durability a five out of five. Now, on to testimonials and reviews. On their website, they have over 7,500 reviews, so that's a pretty good sample. Most of them are five out of five, but there are a few complaints. The A105 Falcon gets a 4.7. One review said there was a rivet from the belt clip that went all the way through and could end up scratching the gun. This one isn't like that, so maybe they fixed it since then. Another one said that the belt clip is too stiff. It is a pretty stiff belt clip, but if you're wearing it and have to draw your gun, I sure do want the gun to come out of the holster than the holster come with it. Another person said it was uncomfortable to carry for side carry because of his love handles. I would probably suggest maybe trying a different position. There was a review also that said it actually took two to three weeks to ship. After ordering on their website, I did have to do a return. Once I placed that order, it gave me a shipping confirmation of 21 days. I'm not sure why this one's gonna take longer, but according to customer service and their website, that's definitely not the norm. For the A907, it gets a 4.45 out of five. Probably the number one complaint about the A907 is poor retention. Like I mentioned earlier, the first one they sent me didn't have great retention either, but they were quick to switch it out, and this one does better. And whenever I wear it, it has a lot better retention up against my body. Another person said on the A907 that the sweat guard is uncomfortable. I don't think it's the sweat guard that makes it more uncomfortable for me, but it might for some. And one general complaint is that even though Falco has a 30-day buyback guarantee, they only offer store credit and not an actual refund. This is true, and keep that in mind when you're ordering. I know we've talked about customer service a lot throughout this one, but that's also why they're there, to make sure that you get the holster that you're gonna want the first time. One more important note on the return process. If you're in the United States, they do have an address in Oregon for us to ship returns to. Follow the process on their website. Just make sure you let them know you're in the United States and they'll take care of you. You know we're gonna tell you the score that we found. Falco holsters get a 4.6 out of five. Here's what you're here for, should I buy this thing? Here's the thing, when it comes to holsters, figuring out exactly what you want is not always easy. The first thing I would say is, you need to figure out how and which position you want to carry. For me, the A105 Falcon is extremely comfortable in the small of my back. But for another fella, it was uncomfortable as a side carry because of his love handles. I would recommend once you have all that figured out, go to their website, select the gun that you're wanting the holster to fit, and then look at all the available options they have. I'm stressing that partly because of shipping. Unless they're running some sort of special, shipping to the United States is about 20 bucks. And then if you have to return it, you know, you're gonna spend what, 10 or $15 then, once they give you store credit, you're still gonna pay another $20 to get your new one shipped here. So that's an extra $50 on shipping. Hence, the reason I am stressing so much, reach out to customer service and let them help you find the holster you want. They have great holsters, but make sure it's the one you want as you're ordering it. Holsters are a lot like handguns. You really need to try them out before you buy them if you can. It could be a long process that takes you through several of them before you find that exact one you really want. But I've been very pleased with these so far, especially the A105 Falcon. So based on the way I carry and the Falco holsters, I'm gonna give, should I buy this thing, a 4.9 out of five. See you next Sunday. Hey, thanks for watching our Falco holsters review. Comment below, let us know what you think. Like it, subscribe if you haven't, tell all your friends. Check out our website, reviewthisthingtv.com. Sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss anything. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter, X.